It is World Health Day, a day shining a light on a health issue of concern globally. Today, that is COVID-19. Yeah, it's been that way for quite some time. And while mask mandates calm down, COVID-19 cases are up over 10% across 15 states and Puerto Rico. And now the FDA is discussing the potential for a new and improved booster shot that could combat multiple variants. And joining us now is the chief medical officer of Moderna, Dr. Paul Burton. Dr. Burton, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, we know that the FDA held a panel discussion on Wednesday to discuss this booster. Um, you and your scientists are working on it. How close are we to getting uh, a so-called super booster? I think honestly we're very close. We started testing months ago. Uh, we will have data I think on our first candidate in the coming weeks. Uh, we're ready to advance it. We know that that's the future. I think we'll be ready in a, in a couple of months at the latest. That sounds optimistic. What do you think when you hear the word endemic thrown around? I think we will ultimately get to a period of endemicity. This will become an endemic disease. If you'd asked me that a couple of weeks ago, I would have said it will be happening now. I don't think so. I think the BA2 wave is serious. It's going to really test us in the coming weeks. So I think we have a ways to go yet. Dr. Burton, as we talk about a super booster for adults, still so many parents out there worried about their younger children. And I know that Moderna has requested FDA authorization for uh, vaccination, a two-dose vaccination for children six months to six years old. Are you confident that authorization will come through? What do you want to say to parents who are listening? Our data is strong, and I think parents should be really confident in the vaccine. Uh, we've tested and treated uh, 550 million people around the world with this vaccine. And it's a big unmet need in kids. We know data from Hong Kong, uh, COVID really increases your risk of ICU admission. It's an unmet need, and I think we have a great vaccine for, that, for those kids. And Dr. Burton, you know, before the COVID-19 vaccine using mRNA technology, a lot of people hadn't heard of that technology, even though it's been available and being studied and researched now for well over 10 years. But on this World Health Day, can you talk a little bit about where that mRNA technology will benefit other serious conditions and diseases in terms of therapeutics, because that's also a massive role. Yeah, I, I think the utility of mRNA as a therapeutic is huge. We can go after complex diseases like CMV, birth defects uh, in children, and we recently announced a collaboration to go after the top 15 diseases of the WHO, and in fact, that just this morning, we announced another collaboration to go after uh, HIV and TB. So this is a technology that can go after diseases like COVID, but many, many other diseases as well, viruses and bacteria. And some people can't help but if you have one booster, um, there might be an official recommendation later about getting the second. But the CDC said if you had Omicron, you got that first one, wait at least till the fall to get the second booster shot. I mean, is there any harm in going out and getting your second? What do you think about the recommendation of telling people essentially to just hold off a little bit? Look, I think BA2 is real and I think it's coming here. People are now eligible for a booster and we have a great vaccine in hand. If you're eligible, if you're over 50, if you're at risk, I would get vaccinated now. As I say, we're doing everything to bring that next booster as well for the fall. Get boosted again then when we see where the data is going. But I would get boosted now. And, and speaking to that, I know we, we've said this for the last uh, year or so since vaccines have been available, and obviously not enough people have taken advantage of them. Um, you're obviously uh, in charge of making sure these vaccines are safe, making sure they're effective, but I wanted to give you the floor again just because we can't reiterate it enough why people should get their vaccines and they should get boosted. Yeah, look, 70% only of Americans have been fully vaccinated, and we have the privilege to have great vaccines here. This is a disease that continues to hospitalize people and to kill them. And we have a safe, very safe, simple treatment. People should get vaccinated now, get boosted if you're eligible. We'll continue to do our part to help end this pandemic and come along with another variant specific booster in the fall, but get vaccinated now. And I hate to put you all on the spot kind of here, but do you all know other, who's doing better than we are in terms of that vaccination number because 70 percent we, we think we're doing pretty well that is a, a high percentage but are there who else is doing better where where should our number be i mean we want 100 percent, but i don't know if that's reasonable but who's doing better uh, than israel that? for one but there are many countries that are doing better but they also tend to be smaller countries with different uh you know demands on their population and their health infrastructure mm -hmm. um but certainly look forward to the day where not only the COVID vaccine um, is more widely accepted, but when it's possibly even integrated with the flu vaccine, which yes. will be exciting. Indeed, and that's another thing that we're working on to bring that shot, get people ready for winter, flu and COVID, 
for this coming fall and next. All right. well, Dr. Burton, it's good to have you in studio. Thank you. You're a very popular guy. We've seen some of our <laughs> staff here from our medical team who never come into the That's building right. are here for you. But again, Chief Medical Officer Moderna, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.